Okay, so now we're going to do the first test of the pie to see that it actually works. So, the last thing you're going to do is connect up the power. Do not plug in the power until everything else is done. All right? The first thing, you want to start with the USB TTL serial cable. You should have the red wire tied back. As I said before, that's not going to be connected. So you have three remaining wires, black, yellow, and green. On the GPIO pins, on the right, two pins down, there is a ground, and then transmit and receive. Transmit and receive correspond to white and green, and it's easy to remember because transmit has a T, and so does white, and receive has an R, so does green. So, we put in the third pin down on this side, we put the black for ground, then we put the white for transmit, and then the green for receive. So we have black, white, green, two pins down on the right hand side. Those are the pins for the serial connector. All right. Now, if we have installed the serial cable properly, if we've installed the drivers properly, then what should happen is when we plug in here, the driver should install, and we can check if we go to the control panel and look at devices and printers. We should see the device. So here we see prolific USB to serial COM port, COM port and it's on COM4. So when we start up PuTTY, now we want to change to serial, and it defaults to COM1, so we want to change this to COM4, the same one as here, and the speed for the Pi should be set to 115200. All right? Okay. So that will open a window. Now, we need to put the a micro SD card in the Pi, so plug it in. Right? Then we need to plug in the power. I've still got it disconnected at this end. You notice there are two micro USB connectors on here. The bottom one is the one for power. Don't plug it into that one, plug it into this one for power. So that's where it needs to go. All right? Now, one more thing to see. There's a light that will flash here when activity is happening. And so as it's booting up, that light will flash. So watch for that. And now I'm going to finally plug in the power. So now if you see, you see the little green light and you see that it's flashing. Eventually you will start to see text come up on here. Now you see text that it's booting up. Now, until, it's pr until you get a prompt, it's not finished booting. You'll see the light is still flashing. You haven't got a prompt. When you get a prompt, it will be done flashing because it will be all booted up. It takes about 30 or 40 seconds. And realize that the time it takes doesn't depend on your computer. It's the time it takes for the Pi to boot up. So it doesn't matter if you have a fast or a slow computer. The time to boot up is going to be the same because it's the Pi, not your computer. So we just wait. Eventually, we'll get a prompt. Okay, now we've got the prompt. It says Raspbian GNU Linux 10 Raspberry Pi TTY AMA0 Raspberry Pi login. The login is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Make sure you spell Raspberry properly. There we go. Now we're in. We've got a prompt. LS will show us what's in the directory. And so on. So we're there. So now the Pi is booted up. You notice the light isn't flashing. Everything is done. Now what I'm going to do this time is shut down. Every time you shut down, don't just disconnect the power. Shut it down properly. So to shut it down, go sudo shut down dash h now. Hit this. Now it will say You'll get a prompt that says, you'll get a prompt that says power down, but notice the light is flashing. Wait until the light has stopped flashing before you turn off the power. All right? So now it has stopped flashing. So now it's, un so now I can unplug it from here. And I'm done. Never just unplug it. Always shut it down. 
And I would say for plugging and unplugging the power, leave the micro USB connected, unplug it from this end so you don't damage the micro USB connector. All right? Okay.